Before doing this activity, you must first check there are no fire restrictions in your area on the New Zealand Rural Fire Authority website. Kia ora. today we're going to be playing with fire. We're not playing with fire, Christian. We're making a fire pit. In a playful way. In a responsible way, with an adult watching over us. Never light a fire without an adult watching. Don't worry, I'm responsible as. I even have a wild eye super pack which has everything we need to put all of the fire. No, you're not. This is. You will need a spade, some matches, dried sticks and leaves, cotton balls or paper, an oven rack and a camp pot to boil some water, a safety bucket and a hose, and an adult. What's in your safety bucket? Raspberry jelly. That could work, but I think what is safer? True. Want some jelly then? Too much jelly. <laughs> no such thing. First up, we need to find a safe spot to put our fire pit. It's got to be away from trees, buildings or roots. Here yeah, looks good. First up, we need to clear the area of dry grass, leaves or anything that could catch on fire. Did you bring the holes with you? No. Man, now we have to dig new ones. I'm pretty sure that's how holes work. Hole number one, the fire hole. About yay wide. About yay deep. About yay awesome. Hole number two, the air tunnel. So this one is about 30 centimetres away from our fire pit. And 15 centimetres wide. It starts by going down, then across, so it connects with the bottom of the fire hole, forming a U-shape. A me-shape? No, a U-shape. That's what I said, a me-shape. No, a U, a U-shape. <laughs> Joke, got you. Keep the dirt for later. First, find some sticks and dried leaves that'll burn nicely. Like the ones we cleared up before. Place in the sticks first, then scatter in the dried leaves and the cotton balls. With an adult watching, carefully use a match to light the cotton balls at the bottom. And we're off. Why do you think we need two holes? Good question. Let's ask the science guy in the ice cream container. <gasps> hey guys. Just like us, fire feeds on oxygen. So the air in the fire hole gets heated by the burning sticks and it rises. And this creates suction in the airway tunnel. So now the fire hole has a constant supply of fresh new oxygen coming in through the airway tunnel that leads to a super efficient, super hot fire. Which is great for boiling water. Or toasting marshmallows. Thanks, science guy. Can someone please toast my marshmallow? Ah! So that's how you make a super hot fire pit. Make sure to keep a close eye on your fire pit. Never leave a burning fire unattended. When you're all done, get your adult to tip out the water onto your fire. Make sure it's completely out. Fill the holes back in with the dirt you saved. Like you were never there. Nearly. Which makes you an awesome Wild Eye citizen. Catch you on the next mission. To find out more about getting wild, visit wildeyes.co.nz. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.